All right, this video is how to use the theater. Um, the first thing to know is there's three lights. Obviously, this is the overhead. You can dim the sconces on the wall and then the lights in the floor. The subwoofer automatically turns on based on the input from the uh, receiver, so no need to touch the subwoofer. So first thing you do when you get in the theater um, is walk over here and find the main remote. The main remote is this Logitech remote here. Uh, so I'm going to go home, or rather, let me go to activities. I'm going to say I want to watch TV. So it's going to automatically turn on all the devices over here. The problem is you have to manually turn on the um, projector. So the, the projector remote says Optoma, and it's this really small one. I'm going to walk over to the projector. I'm going to hit on. As you can see, it went from red to blue. So if you're troubleshooting, make sure there's always a blue light. If someone hit this, it gets loose. So you might have to adjust the picture to make sure this is, is square on, on the screen. So now that I've got the um, projector on, everything went on through the uh, uh, remote here. I can see that uh, the cable box appears to be on. Let's see. So in this case, again, we're troubleshooting. We're making sure the cable storm box, that's the cable input. We hit cable on the device. That's correct. We know the screen's on, but for whatever reason, in this case, that the cable box did not turn on. So now it says cable here. This box is on, projector's on, the cable's good to go. In this case now, you can use either remotes. You can use the cable remote here. Let me turn this down. Let me turn this down. Okay. You can use either remotes, the dish remote to control the cable, but actually you probably want to use this remote because you can control the channel and volume directly from one remote. All right. So now let's say you want to turn on movies from the internal movie server. I'm going to go back to activities. I'm going to say watch Apple TV. Apple TV is how we stream Plex. Again, Plex is the, the you know internal server that's got movies and TV shows. So now that I hit that button, it turned the Apple TV on. And here coming up on the screen is the, uh, is the Apple TV. So I'm scrolling down to this, this black uh, box with the, the orange kind of uh, arrow here and I'm clicking OK. If you don't want to use this remote, you probably want to use this one for this, but, but this is the Apple TV remote. It's kind of hokey. If you haven't used it before, you'll want to use the main remote for this. So now I'm in Plex. I'm watching a movie. I'm, tur I'm turning the volume up. I'm turning the volume down. Um, let's say I want to go back to the previous screen within Plex. Um, let me keep going back. I'm going back. Now I can control movies. I want to go to, uh, this is in the adult movie category. I've got Goodwill Hunting. Hit OK. Play movie. So in the end, um, or excuse me, when you're done using all of this, you can hit the off button on this remote here. But actually it worked. It shut down the uh, uh, projector as well. If, if, if you want to double check, it, it's kind of a safety hazard, hazard to leave the projector on. So make sure when you leave the room that it, when you turn it off either through the main remote or through this auxiliary remote, it goes back to a, a solid red dot. That's it. Hit the red button.